Hey guys, Abby here. I am back to film another memory keeping spread and this is for the week of December 27th through January 2nd. <laughs> I was gonna say January 1st but no it's the 2nd. Um, and I am actually doing two spreads for this same week. Um, so you guys will have to let me know how you guys want me to proceed with the other week um I think I just I filmed the base off camera but I actually did the day by day um like I filmed it like normal so would you guys still want to see the first week in my 2022 planner I mean obviously it's going to be the same set of plans but um I wanted to share it like in some capacity because it's my new planner. So I felt like it would be a waste if I didn't share it. Um, but then I didn't really think it through doing two, like s planning this week twice. Like the plans are all the same. Like what, what am I gonna do? So <laughs> anyways, I got on a tangent there. So uh, this is the last week in my 2021 inserts. Um, so after this plan with me, you guys are gonna see um, the planner kind of like wrap up awards tag that um, Chan Plans made that I am partaking in so you guys will see that next um, so let's talk about the kit let's talk about the base um, now that we're two minutes into the video and I haven't even told you guys what I'm using so I am using this murder mystery I think that might actually be the name let me find the piece of like I have a piece of the kit left over because she puts actually the she actually puts the names on the kits so it is the September mystery it's the murder mystery kit uh from caress press and I am using it with the bundle that it came with so it's like a gold blood drip bundle um it has these really pretty bows I love her bows um and while this is a non-traditional uh, New Year's Eve kit, I just thought like the glam of this murder mystery would be perfect for New Year's Eve, um, like the New Year's week. So I went ahead and went for it. Um, and I'm really glad I did. I would love, like side note tangent here, I would love to have like a murder mystery party like on New Year's Eve or just at all. Um, so my sidebar, I tried to mess with the sidebar. I decided on color blocking. And now that I look at it, when I look back at it, I really shouldn't have used that orange in the sidebar. Um, because the orange pattern in the kit was like that. It basically was, it didn't really orange wasn't the main color of the pattern so when I go to that day in the week I think it was Thursday I ran out of solid orange boxes so I had to use the pattern boxes and I think it really kind of messed up the whole color blocking so that's my one gripe about that um, but that was just my own fault So the foil is gold. I think it works and pairs perfectly. Um, on my sidebar, I just put Happy New Year with a stick with a plan, co-girl. I find that I don't tell you guys what's in my sidebar. I always forget. And then I used a little piece of deco from Scribble Prince Co. from a New Year's freebie that I got. Um, and I put seven weeks because it was this week was seven weeks till my birthday. So... <laughs> Like, I don't usually do that, like, because what do I want to count on for my birthday for? Getting another year older? Ew. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to add just a little bit of music to finish off putting the full box overlays on, and I will be back to finish off the spread. <laughs>
are back for the day by day. Um, Monday, I was up early this day. Um, and this was also the day that I decided to sign up for HelloFresh. Um, if you guys are interested in HelloFresh, um, I have a link in my link tree on my Instagram, if you guys follow me over there, to sign up and get a discount. Or if you guys like are more interested in seeing what the meals are like, um, on my TikTok, which I link below, um, I've been doing like reviews on our meals. So we are finishing up the second week and we've been enjoying that so far. Um, they say, I don't remember what I was frustrated about, but I was, I was frustrated and upset, mad about something. Um, and then I did film some day by day in my planner and it was also Shay's birthday. See, she is Shay plans or Shay B plans. One of the two. I will try to link her too. But hey, she turned 21 today, that day. <laughs> um, I did need to call in Mackenzie's inhaler this day. So I marked that. And then I did not feel well. I think it was just stress. So I kind of just took a nap and then ended up sleeping all night because I felt like dirt. So this day, again, I was up early. I did relax in bed this morning, this morning, um, a little while before actually getting myself out of bed. Like I try to not do that a ton because then I'll just lay in bed for the remainder of my life. Um, but then when I went to go downstairs, my cats make a mess and it's just my life. I'm like, what fresh hell am I going to walk down to in the morning? Cause we've been actually closing our bedroom door. Um, because I got a white comforter and one of the cats threw up on it um, literally two days after I got it. Um, so to prevent that, uh, we decided to keep our door, door closed. Um, this day I also did some filming. So I filmed, edited, and uploaded this day. I had a migraine. And then I made a really good dinner. I think I only marked it as potato waffle, but I made meatloaf, which I really love meatloaf. It's one of my specialties. And I used some leftover mashed potatoes from Christmas for, I made potato waffles and they were delightful. And then we watched, I think, one of the first episodes of Money Heist. The last season is out. And we've been kind of watching it slowly. Because we love the show. Wednesday morning, we were just kind of lazy that morning. Um, but we knew we wanted to go on a little date that day. Um, so I went to Bath and Body Works for the semi-annual sale. Uh, cause I wanted to look and see what they had. And then I also had a couple of rewards that I wanted to redeem. And then we got Bibby Bob for lunch. Always great. And then we had, I just marked date night cause I never use these date night scripts. And I have like a million of them. Um, so I marked date night and we actually went, we have Regal Unlimited, so as long as it's like the movie times don't overlap we can go see two like as many movies in a day as we want to honestly um so we went and saw ghostbusters afterlife which was awesome i really loved it and then we went and saw sing two after that we went and picked up kenzie and my honey was not feeling well after i think it was something he ate or you guys will see <laughs> the next day he woke up um i did sleep in this morning he got up kind of early um but he was under the weather and the second i went downstairs i kind of knew i'm like what, what is wrong what what's going on and he explained it to me and i'm like 
okay, we need to go find COVID tests. So that's what I did. Um, I looked for a COVID test. I could not find them. They're, they're basically like obsolete now. Like you can't find them anywhere. Um, but thankfully my mom works at a grocery store and she was actually purchasing one for their house and she actually let me purchase it instead. Um, and then I came back and had him take the test and he was positive. So this is when our quarantine started. And he, like, we kind of got into a little back and forth because he, he was really stressed about his job. And, you know, when the person who works full time and supports the family is out sick, you kind of start stressing hardcore. So uh, this night I did also schedule us um, appointments for the walk-in clinic. So me and Kenzie, after a few days, could get tested. And I wanted to make him an appointment in case he needed to have a negative test to go back to work. Which, thankfully, he did not have to have a negative test to go back to work. But I just wanted to make those appointments. We got some DoorDash for dinner. And I had a YouTube binge. Um, so then Friday... Quarantine is not fun, I will say that. Um, especially when... And this is funny, but um, me and Anthony are very affectionate to each other. We love each other. We um, love spending time together when he's not at work or, you know, when we're not busy, whatever. So having to physically be apart for that long is torture. So he was actually downstairs on the couch. Um, me and Mackenzie were upstairs in our respective bedrooms. Uh, so Friday was payday. I did pay bills this morning. I like to pay bills like either the day that we get paid or he gets paid or the day after so I can just plan out the next two weeks. And then I marked that it was New Year's Eve. We did also order Grubhub this night or this afternoon for lunch um it was oh boys which is a burger restaurant near us so we got that i marked that it was my mom's birthday and then i also watched to all the boys i've loved forever and always it's the last um it's the third in the series and I don't know why I hadn't watched it yet so I watched that and I made soup for us for dinner and like after I made the soup and ate the soup I could not keep my eyes open so I'm like you know what I'm gonna take just a little a little a little baby nap before the ball drops so I took a little baby nap <laughs> and then the funny thing is I forget what sticker I use for it but the we had a ball drop fail which we were watching it on Roku TV and it was behind like 10 seconds so it was already midnight before our ball dropped so it was funny we laughed about it and then this was also the day that Betty White passed so sad she was so close to 100 uh, 2021 just had to take one more thing from us so I did mark that in my planner it's like history so Saturday Saturday I just slept a lot because it was like literally I was so bored all the time um, I did mark that it was New Year's Day though like just sleeping like cause I mean there was plenty of stuff that I could do in my bedroom like keep up in my planner prep for school but no I decided to nap instead and sleep this day I did make hot Italian subs which was super easy and super delicious um we did both watch the 20th anniversary Hogwarts reunion thing whatever we watched it on FaceTime 
And then this night I also ordered grocery delivery. Which I would love to be able to order grocery delivery all the time because it's super simple. I stick to what I need. Super convenient, it just comes to your door. But they raise the price of the items and you pay the delivery fee and the tip and all that stuff, which I would love to just, you know, pay the tip, but when you're paying tip, then like sometimes like a $10 delivery fee and premium for the items you buy, I can't do it. Um, and then I took a bath and I was in my feels that evening. I think it was just because him and I were separated, like, emotional. Now all I can think of is emotional damage. If you know, you know. Um, <laughs> so then Sunday, oh god, I'm so behind. Um, I put that eye-rolling munchkin or whatever because I was so bored so bored I did do some voiceovers this day um and I uploaded and scheduled videos I made sausage and potatoes for dinner and Anthony lost taste this day but he only lost it for like two days and then this was when I started playing Lego Incredibles like non-stop I love the Incredible Games, or not the Incredible Games, the Lego Games, um, and then I watched The Fault in Our Stars, so I'm just going to fill the rest of this out, I'm going to add a little bit of music per usual, if you guys haven't subbed already and definitely want to sub, I, I, do it if you want to, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there, um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.